actor from George Clooney to some undiscovered guy trying to get a bit spot on a low-rated cable series like Burn Notice. Oh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> um, have the headshots. We sent Buster out to get new ones, and let's just say he made friends fast. They say image is everything. And when my producers told me that I needed to get new pictures, I was kind of surprised. What, glamour shots weren't good enough for them? I mean, they were such a value. They even came with a coupon for the food court. But if they say I need new pictures, who am I to argue? So a friend of mine suggested a photographer named Yarmo. Hi. Uh, <laughs> it was right about here that I realized this was definitely not the mall. Yarmo, <laughs> here to see Yarmo. Right there, turn towards the camera, just like that. Who's the beautiful? That's it. Excellent, beautiful, beautiful. Cut. Who the hell is that? Uh, hi, I'm I'm Buster. I'm here for the photo shoot. What? What about who? Who let you in? Uh, naked girl. Ah, oh, fine, fine. Move over there and wait for your turn. I can't work like this. This is always always a stress. I can't believe it. Okay, here we go. One, two, and sexy. Well, at least he didn't ask me to take my clothes off. The web is chock full of top 10 lists, and if you stumble upon one for the coolest jobs on the planet, photographer is usually right there in the top three. And what is arguably the most coveted photography job? My biggest client is Playboy. I shoot beautiful models, mostly with no clothes at all. That includes centerfolds, Playboy special editions, cyber girls to play with. So how does one become a Playboy photographer? Is there a correspondence course you could take online? One day I just called Playboy and I said, could I speak with somebody who's actually in charge of your photography? And I got the editor to answer the phone. I said, I love the magazine, I love the pictures, but I think I can do this, I can do better. He says, so why don't you shoot two girls on spec and send me the film and I'll let you know how much you suck. And he's been shooting for the world's biggest gentleman's magazine ever since. So what did he have in store for me? We had to give him something and capture that real buster that brings him alive. It's just something that I feel that has to be a little bit different. I learned a lot about myself that day, mainly that I was a lot more flexible than I thought. For Deco Drive, I'm Buster.